Today, we're diving into the fascinating world of military aviation to explore two incredible aircraft, the AV-8B Harrier II and the F-35B Lightning II. We'll compare their differences, explore what they have in common, and take a closer look at their unique features, armament, and capabilities, especially their vertical takeoff and landing abilities. Let's get started. First, let's talk about the history and development of these two aircraft. The AV-8B Harrier II, also known as the Harrier Jump Jet, was developed in the late 1970s and early 1980s by McDonnell Douglas and British Aerospace. It entered service in 1985 and became famous for its vertical short takeoff and landing Vestal capabilities. The Harrier II is an evolution of the original Hawker Siddeley Harrier, with improvements in avionics, aerodynamics, and payload capacity. On the other hand, the F-35B Lightning II is a product of the Joint Strike Fighter program initiated in the 1990s to develop a new generation of multi-role stealth fighters. Developed by Lockheed Martin, the F-35B variant is specifically designed for VSTOL operations, similar to the Harrier. The F-35B entered service in 2015 and represents the latest in military aviation technology, incorporating advanced stealth, avionics, and sensor fusion. Now, let's dive into the design and technology of these aircraft. The AV-8B Harrier II features a distinctive design with four vacuturable nozzles that allow it to perform vertical and short takeoffs and landings. It is powered by a single Rolls-Royce Pegasus turbofan engine, which provides the necessary thrust for its unique flight capabilities. The Harrier II is equipped with a heads-up display, radar, and navigation systems that were state-of-the-art at the time of its introduction. In contrast, the F-35B Lightning II incorporates cutting-edge stealth technology, making it nearly invisible to enemy radar. Its design includes a unique lift fan system, developed by Rolls-Royce, which works in conjunction with a swiveling rear nozzle to enable V-STOL operations. The F-35B is powered by the Pratt & Whitney F-135 engine, one of the most powerful fighter engines ever built. Its advanced avionics suite includes a helmet-mounted display system, HMDS, which provides pilots with critical flight information directly on their helmet visor, as well as an array of sensors and radar systems that offer unmatched situational awareness. Despite their differences, the AV-8B Harrier II and the F-35B Lightning II share some common features. Both aircraft are designed for VSTOL operations, making them incredibly versatile for use on aircraft carriers and forward deployed bases with short or makeshift runways. This capability allows them to operate in environments where conventional aircraft cannot. Additionally, both aircraft serve in multi-role capacities capable of performing ground attack, reconnaissance, and air defense missions. This versatility makes them valuable assets to any military force providing flexibility and adaptability in various combat scenarios. Let's take a closer look at the AV-8B Harrier II. This aircraft measures approximately 46 feet in length with a wingspan of just over 30 feet. It is powered by the Rolls-Royce Pegasus 11, 61 vectored thrust turbofan engine enabling it to reach speeds of up to 661 miles per hour. The Harrier II has a range of around 1,200 miles and can operate at altitudes up to 42,200 feet. Its armament includes a 25mm GAU-12 equalizer cannon and various bombs, rockets, and missiles, such as the AAAM-9 Sidewinder and AGM-65 Maverick, making it a formidable ground attack aircraft. Now let's examine the F-35B Lightning II. This state-of-the-art aircraft is slightly larger, with a length of about 51 feet and a wingspan of 35 feet. It is powered by the powerful Pratt & Whitney 
F135 PW600 engine, which combined with its lift fan allows it to reach speeds of up to 1,200 miles per hour, or Mach 1.6. The F-35B has a range of 900 nautical miles and a service ceiling of 50,000 feet. It is armed with a 25mm GAU-22 uh, four-barrel rotary cannon and can carry a variety of advanced weapons. Cost is a significant factor when comparing these two aircraft. The AV-8B Harrier II, being an older design, is less expensive to produce and maintain. The unit cost of a Harrier II is approximately $30 million making it a more affordable option for military forces. The F-35B Lightning II, with its advanced technology and capabilities, comes at a higher price. The unit cost of an F-35B is around $115 million, and the overall program cost is significantly higher due to the expenses involved in developing and maintaining its cutting-edge systems. However, the F-35B's superior capabilities and versatility may justify its higher cost for many military forces. One of the most remarkable features of both the AV-8B Harrier II and the F-35B Lightning II is their ability to perform vertical takeoffs and landings. The AV-8B Harrier II achieves this through its four vectorable nozzles which direct thrust downward to lift the aircraft vertically. This capability allows it to operate from aircraft carriers and forward deployed bases with limited runway space. The Harrier II's stole capabilities have proven invaluable in various combat situations, providing flexibility and quick response times. The F-35B Lightning II, on the other hand, uses a combination of a lift fan and a swiveling rear nozzle to achieve vertical lift. The lift fan, located behind the cockpit, provides vertical thrust, while the rear nozzle can swivel downward to direct engine thrust for vertical takeoff and landing. This advanced system allows the F-35B to carry more fuel and weapons compared to the Harrier, enhancing its combat effectiveness and operational range. In terms of combat performance, both the AV-8B Harrier II and the F-35B Lightning II excel in different areas. The AV-8B Harrier II has a proven track record in combat, having been deployed in various conflicts, including the Falklands War, the Gulf War, in operations in Afghanistan and Iraq. Its ability to perform close air support, interdiction, and reconnaissance missions has made it a valuable asset for ground forces. The Harrier II's versatility and robustness have ensured its place in military aviation history. The F-35B Lightning II, while newer and less combat tested, offers unparalleled capabilities in modern warfare. Its stealth technology allows it to penetrate enemy defenses undetected, and its advanced sensor suite provides superior situational awareness. The F-35B can perform a wide range of missions, including air superiority, ground attack, and electronic warfare. Its interoperability with other F-35 variants and allied forces further enhances its effectiveness in joint operations. Looking to the future, the AV-8B Harrier II is gradually being phased out in favor of more advanced aircraft like the F-35B. However, the Harrier II will continue to serve in various air forces around the world for years to come, thanks to its unique capabilities and proven performance. The F-35B Lightning II represents the future of military aviation, with ongoing upgrades and improvements ensuring its relevance for decades. Continued advancements in stealth technology, avionics, and weaponry will further enhance the F-35B's capabilities, making it a formidable force in any conflict. In conclusion, both the AV-8B Harrier II and the F-35B Lightning II are remarkable aircraft with unique features and capabilities. The Harrier II, with its proven track record and versatility, remains a valuable asset for many air forces. The F-35B, with its advanced technology and superior performance, 
represents the cutting edge of military aviation. Each aircraft has its strengths and is suited to different roles and missions. Whether it's the robust and reliable Harrier II or the state-of-the-art F-35B, both have earned their place in the annals of aviation history. Now, we'd love to hear from you. Which aircraft do you think is better suited for modern military operations? The AV-8B Harrier II with its proven versatility? Or the F-35B Lightning II with its cutting edge technology? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe to our channel for more content on military aviation and technology. Until next time, fly high and stay safe.